it's really a great pleasure uh, to be here in Rabat today with my colleague Aziz Aganush reflecting on the outstanding relationship between our two countries. For more than 400 years now, Morocco and the Netherlands have enjoyed special and vibrant times. And there is so much that connects us and unites us. Not least, of course, the people of the Netherlands and Morocco. After all, our countries share a close bond thanks to the large Moroccan community in the Netherlands. That community is a source of rich cultural exchange between our countries. One example is the way Dutch and Moroccan museums work together to stage exhibitions in both countries. And we just decided that we will do even more. What's more, in recent years our relations have gained fresh impetus in a number of areas. In 2021, for example, we reached agreement on the Netherlands-Morocco Action Plan, in which we arranged to step up our cooperation on security and justice, trade, social security and migration. And today we decided, building upon this, to work towards a strategic partnership between Morocco and the Netherlands. Today, I thank the head of government personally for Morocco's efforts to advance our cooperation on migration, for example, by facilitating migrant return. And we agree to continue this process. The broader cooperation between our countries today offers a solid basis for future partnerships in other areas. And that's clear from the many subjects we have been discussing today. The main focus of this visit clearly is on renewable energy, like green hydrogen. The climate crisis demands that we speed up energy transition. And as the war in Ukraine has made painfully clear, we need to reduce our dependence for energy on a small number of countries. And to achieve that, we must develop a global market for renewable energy. The Netherlands and Morocco are both well positioned to play a role here. And our goal is to help each other by sharing knowledge and know-how to develop technology and infrastructure. With that in mind, I'm delighted with the signing we will do later of a memorandum of understanding to take our renewable energy partnership forward. In the coming years, Germany will be joining us in those efforts, a country that shares the ambitions of the Netherlands and Morocco. In keeping with the broad range of Dutch-Moroccan ties, we also spoke today about a topic of grave importance to Morocco, the Western Sahara. I assured the head of government that the Netherlands supports the UN-led process and the work of the personal envoy of the Secretary General. In this context, the Netherlands considers the autonomy plan presented in 2007 as a serious and credible contribution to the UN-led political process. Of course, it is now up to the parties concerned under the UN's guidance to seek a just and lasting solution that is acceptable to both sides. Our conversations today show that we agree on many things and that we want to invest all our energies in the positive relations between our countries. The opening words of the Moroccan-Dutch action plan are about working together, about friendship, about mutual respect. I can't think of a better way to describe the bond between us or the welcome I've received here today from my dear colleague. Aziz, I'm extremely grateful for your and the Moroccan government's hospitality. Thank you once again for the friendship, for the warm welcome today, and I really look forward to our continued collaboration, building that relationship into a strategic partnership.
Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.